Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to each and every one of you to what I like to call our final session of our prayer for this week. The theme for tonight remains the same. Cut in pieces. I'm truly encouraged by the feedbacks that I got from many of you regarding how the prayers of yesterday minister to you. I'd like for you to please do for us what you did yesterday. If you're on Facebook, and I see some of you there already, wow, the first person there tonight is from Nigeria. Welcome. We'd like for you to please do us a favor, help us do the sharing. The same thing goes for those of you that are listening to us on the podcast. So many people on the podcast yesterday. So many people. Do us a favor. I see another person from Nigeria. In fact, he particularly always will share the MixLR link. Brother, we thank you. God bless you. Whatever you can do to help us share so people can be blessed. This, this kind of prayer, the one for yesterday... And the one for today, they are the kinds of prayers we need to pray on a daily basis. And I'd like to welcome those of you who are calling in also, wherever you are, all across the United States. May the Lord bless you, even as we gather together. Father, bless us tonight. Do a new thing in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody said amen. I'm truly encouraged by the feedbacks that I got from many of you regarding the prayers of yesterday, how it impacted your life, and how it ministered to you. As I said yesterday, no one can be victorious. No one can enjoy lasting tranquility without understanding and praying these prayers. Let me read our text to you again, Psalm 58, verse 7. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. The second part is our emphasis. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as caught in pieces. What our prayer text is saying is very simple. David was praying that God will break the arrow of the adversary in pieces before the arrows are launched from the bow of the attacker. When that happens, the intended victim can enjoy undisturbed peace and undisturbed tranquility. There are three times to pray warfare prayers. Three times. Number one, you can pray warfare prayer before the attack is launched. Or you can pray warfare prayer after an attack is launched. Or you can choose to pray after an attack lands on the victim. The question is very simple. Which one of these three will be most beneficial? It goes without saying that the prayers that come before the attack takes off will be the best prayer to pray and the best time to pray. You know what they say? Prevention is better than kill. Unfortunately, many of our warfare prayers are to kill, not to prevent. So I'm I'm taking you away from what we've been used to doing for years and years and years and years. Most of our prayers are warfare prayers, not prayers to prevent. 
David, in the passage we just read, is recommending preventive prayers. He said, cut the arrows in pieces. Cut the weapons in pieces before they leave the bow to come and do harm. But you know, if you are going to pray that kind of prayer, you have to live a prayed up life to enjoy this kind of blessing. You have to pray without ceasing. You have to pray as if there is war in front of you when actually you don't feel anything, you don't see anything. Unfortunately, again, most believers don't pray until war hits them. Most believers don't pray until attack comes against them. I can tell you that for sure from my little experience of being a pastor of many years. Some people will not come to church until trouble comes. Even when we find ourselves in situations that are likely to trigger warfare, we don't pray until the actual battle comes to our doorsteps. I've experienced that before. Don't wait till the arrow leaves the bow and is headed your way. Don't wait till the arrow hits you. Disable attack weapons at the point where they are launched. And you'll have more peace, seriously. You'll have more tranquility in your life. When he bendeth his bow, that is the time to command the arrows to catch fire, to command the arrows to be cut in pieces, according to David. Do you know what Jesus Christ said, and I alluded to this a little bit yesterday. Jesus said in the Lord's Prayer, actually the disciples' prayer, he said, when you pray, one of the things you must say is, deliver us from evil. You know, we apply that statement, deliver us from evil, to only ongoing present evils. And that's okay. But when you look at that scripture, Jesus seemed to be praying about evil that you have not even seen. He did not say, deliver us from this evil which will have referred to a particular specific evil. Or rather, he said, deliver us from evil. Wow. That can be applied to mean before the evil takes off, deliver us. Before the evil is triggered, deliver us. Of course, it can be applied also to ongoing evil. That was what the United States did. 80 years ago this month, yes, I see someone on Facebook Live who was in the Navy. I'm sure he knows this story. Maybe he can tell it better than I can. But you know, 80 years ago, this very month in 1942, something happened between Japan and the United States that led to the winning of the battle that is known as the Battle of Midway. Six months after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and they attacked it successfully. They planned it, and it worked. But do you know why Japan was able to attack Pearl Harbor? Because they were not attacked at the point of departure. In fact, nobody knew until bombs started dropping. And that's exactly the way many of we believers are. We don't know anything. We don't see anything until bombs started, starts dropping. And of course, when they saw the victory they had at Pearl Harbor, uh, they were emboldened to pull another surprise attack. They didn't know that America had already woken up. The United States started monitoring them very well. A lot of things, I'm, I'm jumping the history here to what I need to, the point I need to make. So the United States broke the message code of the Japanese military 
and they knew their plan ahead of time that they were coming. So what did America do? America used the information they got from breaking their code and they were able to gain the upper hand against the Japanese. And the United States ended up winning the war because they took the battle to the Japanese. The Japanese were so surprised. How did they know? Of course they knew. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as caught in pieces. The Japanese Navy, wow, was dashed in pieces on the Pacific, completely crippled by the United States because it took the battle to them. I'm so, I'm so tired, seriously, of the enemy taking the battle to us and we have to fight and fight and fight after the battle hits. And the United States said, you know what? We're going to surprise these people for the information we have. And we're going to pray tonight. That the Lord will give you advanced information. Something is coming, oh, something is about to happen, oh, they are planning this, oh, they are planning that, oh. So bang, bang, bang. You can hit them before the missiles start flying. We want to pray tonight that while the attack is about to be carried out, while the missiles are being prepared to be launched, while the gun is being caught ready to be fired while the bow is being pulled to release the arrow God will disable them for you you know that was what God did uh, to Laban you remember Laban who had made up his mind to go and deal with unsuspecting Jacob you know Jacob took his wives Jacob took his children Jacob took his animals and he was going home you know he was going home all was set by Laban, who was told that Jacob had escaped. Jacob had left. So he said, all right, let him leave. I'm going to catch up with him, and I'm going to destroy him. So he took all his weapons of war. He took all his warriors. He took all his people, and they went after Jacob. But listen to this. The night before the attack, God stopped Laban. You know, I'm tired of the attack reaching my bedroom or my doorstep before I wake up to fight. I want to let the battle be won before they even move near my house. Look at the two verses that confirm that. In Genesis chapter 31 verse 24, I love this verse. The Bible says, I'm God. And that same God has not changed. What he did for Jacob against Laban, he can and he will do the same for you. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night. And God said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Case closed. In other words, you are out to fight against Jacob, don't do it. Don't try it. Don't fire any ammunition against him. God stopped Laban before he, as it were, released his weapons against Jacob. You know, I thought of that this afternoon as I was revising my note. And I said to myself, wait a minute. God could have waited till the attack started. All right? God could have done that. He could have waited for Laban to catch up with him and start throwing stones and try, try throwing missiles and arrows. God could have waited till that time. And then miraculously, God could have still delivered uh, Jacob from the hand of Laban. But you know what? God never did that. God never did that. God knew something. Prevention <laughs> is better than kill. Did you hear what Bishop said? In your own life too. Prevention is better than kill. Can I say one more time? Even the God of heaven 
believes that prevention is better than kill. So what did he do? He prevented the attack of Laban against Jacob. Case closed. Look at what Laban himself said in Genesis 31, 29. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. Did you hear that? We're going to pray about that tonight. I have the power to hurt you. But, hallelujah, the God of your father spake to me last night, saying, Take thou heed what thou doest or speakest to Jacob. Don't speak either good or bad. Leave the boy alone. Don't use your ammunitions. Aha! Glory to God who stops battles at the point where they are about to be started. Let's pray in faith tonight, people, that Laban's arrows against you will be forbidden. Did you hear that? The arrows of Laban against me, against you, against your daughters, against your sons, against your wife will be forbidden from being fired by the almighty God that they will be broken in pieces by the decree and the authority of the Holy Ghost even before they are launched. It spared Jacob. It spared his entire family. It spared his entire possession from what would have been a bloody war. They might have won the war, all right? But it would have been so bloody, animals would have died. Maybe people would have died. But God said, uh-uh, don't even use it. My Lord, when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, David said, don't let them shoot them. Let the arrows be cut in pieces. Father, lead us as we go tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. You ready to pray? If you are ready to pray, God, is ready to answer. Let's go before him with thanksgiving. Let's go before him with praise. I got a bunch of prayer points with, for you tonight. Powerful prayer points. Thank God for allowing us to see another Friday, for taking us safely through the walk week. Thank God it's Friday today. Thank God for his protection on us all through the week. Thank God for his, for watching over us. Thank God for protecting us. Thank God for keeping us. We'll give him praise. We'll give him glory. We'll give him honor. We'll give him dominion. We'll give him majesty. Thank God for taking us safely through the work week. Thank God for yet another session of prayers tonight. Thank God for bringing you to this place. Thank God for bringing me to this place. Thank him for the issues, hallelujah, that is settled for us last night. I will have told you a testimony of what happened last night, but I don't have the permission from the person. I will have told you what happened during the prayer meeting, right inside the prayer meeting last night. Oh, God is so good. Thank God for the issues that is settled with us and for us last night. Father, I will bless you. We thank you for the revelations. We thank you for the visions. We thank you for the victory you gave people on this prayer line last night. We even thank you for those that you gave victory to, but they never knew about it. They never saw it. Never, they never felt it, but they got the victory already. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Thank God for amazing testimonies that accompanied those prayers of last night. I heard one, was it this morning I heard it, or was it same last night? I was, I was just shocked. I thank him for attacks that God stopped before they ever took place. Hallelujah. Thank God for the revelations. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. These prayers are so important. Someone sent me a text message day before yesterday. I just, I couldn't believe it. I was just shaking my head. I'm going to get the permission to share that testimony with you also. Things are happening on this prayer line. Please invite your friends. Somebody invited her friend in Maryland. She came. She was even a Muslim. She was not a, she was not a Christian. She was a Muslim. She had a problem. And she came. And she prayed. And guess what happened? Prayer fixed it for her. We thank God. We bless you. We worship you. We adore you. I want you to thank God for the things God has fixed for you throughout the time we've been praying these prayers. The things God has fixed. The things God is fixing. 
Father, the things God is fixing to fix, Father, we bless you for them all. We glorify you, we honor you, we adore you. Thank him for the attacks that God stopped for you before they ever took place. Only God knows is when we get to heaven that we will find out so many attacks that the Lord stopped for us before they ever took place, before they ever got off the ground. Papa will bless you, will bless you for missiles that blew up on the launch pad. Glory to God. Father will bless you for smoke with which you smoked out the enemies before they did their foolishness. I want you to thank him for attacks that God has. You think you are under warfare? <laughs> Look at the things he has stopped. You don't know about them. Let's just thank God for them in faith. Say, oh Lord, I thank you for attacks against me, against my children. Hallelujah. Against my business, against my health, against, uh, against the works of my hands that you graciously and mightily stopped before they ever got to me. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him in advance uh, that the prayers of tonight will go up to him like an evening sacrifice. Uh, glory to God. Thank God for more prayers that will go up on this subject tonight. Uh, thank God because he's going to give us the prayer points that we are going to pray about. Uh, thank God because God is going to answer prayers. He's going to answer prayers. Uh, he's going to do a new thing in your life. He's going to do a new thing in my life. Uh, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank Thank God, thank God for more prayers, more answers in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray what we have always prayed about, that sin and unbelief will not hinder your prayer. So in the name of Jesus, those are the two giants. Those are the two crocodiles that swallow prayers. I want you to pray that sin, sin of omission, sin of commission. I want you to ask the Lord to wash you, to purge you, to cleanse you, to purify you right now. Say, Lord, let every sin of omission, let every sin of commission not be able to stand against me. I come and approach the throne of grace by the blood of the Lamb. I ask you, Lord God, that anything I've done, anything I've said, anywhere I've been that I shouldn't have said, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have been, let the blood of Jesus wash me clean tonight. Let the blood of Jesus purge and purify me this evening. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, remove, remove, remove unbelief from my heart. As I pray, help me to pray in faith. As I pray, help me to pray in confidence. And as I call upon you, Father, let me receive immediate answer to my prayers. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I pray for those of you in faraway land. It's already past midnight. It's already 11 p.m. And sleep is beginning to shake you up. You are praying half awake, half asleep. I pray the Lord will give you the strength to be able to stay up, but also take a posture that will not make you fall asleep, my friend. Don't try to fall, don't try to pray lying on your back. You're going to fall asleep before you realize it. I pray that God will give grace to all of you right here, right now, wherever you are praying with us from, that the Lord will keep you alert. The Lord will keep you awake. The prayers of tonight are serious prayers. We are going to the enemy's camp. And before he moves out, we are going to destroy everything that is in his power to destroy us. Pray for grace to pray tonight. Pray for grace to pray tonight without any distraction. Distraction of sleep. Distraction of the doorbell. That you'll be able to focus on these prayers tonight. They are important prayers. Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of Jesus, touch us to pray. In the name of Jesus, teach us to pray. In the name of Jesus, Papa, anoint us to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let's go after the fire of the enemy. Say, oh Lord, quench any fire of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Any fire that the enemy has lit up, any fire that the enemy has started against me, O oh God, quench them before they start burning in the name of Jesus. Let's begin with that tonight. Any fire that the enemy has set, any fiery darts, that's what the Bible tells us, quenching the fiery darts of the wicked. I want you to pray that before they start burning, the Lord will extinguish them in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, arrows against your health, arrows against your finances, arrows against your ministry, arrows against your children, arrows against your marriage, arrows against your destiny. Say, oh Lord, turn them off, turn them off before they start burning. Turn them off, turn them off before they start burning. Turn them off, turn them off without they start burning. I want you to pray that the gas that they use will be extinguished. The gas will evaporate from the gas tank. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, every weapon that the enemy will use against me from now on, cripple the weapon, cripple the owner of the weapon, make it unusable, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, people, you need to pray without season. You need to be more prayerful than you are, oh, that's the way to prevent attacks. If you relax, they will fry you. I want you to pray tonight, oh Lord God, grace to pray without season, thereby preventing attacks. Grace to pray without season. Like I told you, if you believe right and you pray right, there's nothing they can do against you. Say, oh Lord, great to pray without season, and thereby preventing attacks. Papa, give me that grace tonight. We prayed that same prayer two weeks ago. We need to pray it again. Prayerfulness. Papa, make me, oh Lord, to live a life that is prayed up. Grace to be prayed up. Grace to be current, current in prayer. Grace to be current, current in prayer. Not the one that will take holiday for six weeks and not pray for six months and not pray for six six years. Oh God, grace to live a prayed up life. Grace to pray without ceasing. Oh Lord, let it fall on me tonight. Let it fall on every man, every woman, every boy, every girl on this prayer line tonight. Grace to pray without ceasing to prevent attacks. My friend, if you don't know how to pray, you will get attacked. So you will get surprise attacks. I want you to pray tonight, Father God. Don't let me wait till attack comes. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Can I ask you to pray this prayer tonight? Say, Father, deliver me from settling in relaxation mode. Hey, Papa, deliver me from settling in relaxation mode concerning my prayer life. I will not relax. I must not relax. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray tonight. Lord, deliver me from settling in relaxation mode regarding prayers. Let me not relax, O oh God. Let me not relent, O oh God. Let me not relax, O oh God. Let me not relent, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Grace to pray without ceasing. Grace to pray without tiring. So that when the enemy wants to lift his head against you, they have already met the fire of prayer burning from you. They have no choice but to back off. Oh Lord, let me not settle in relaxation mode. Let me not take a French leave. In the name of Jesus from prayer and intercession. I want you to pray that God will help you not to be tired, not to be weary of praying in the name of Jesus. We need to pray another prayer tonight. Oh, you know what it is? Say, oh Lord, let me not wait till attacks come before I go into prayer mode. Let me not wait, oh Lord, till the attacks hit me, till the battle hits me before I go into prayer mode. I told you some people will not pray until there is a problem. Some people will not call on God until the attack is on them. No, 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 no. You waited too long. Say, my Father, say my father, let me not wait till my children are attacked. Let me not wait till my business is attacked. Let me not wait till my church is attacked. Let me not wait till my ministry is attacked. Let me not wait till my lungs are attacked. Let me not wait till my brain is attacked. Let me not wait till my blood is attacked. Then go into prayer mode. It will be too late at that time. Oh Lord, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us from tarrying long. In, 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 in relaxation and not praying like we ought to. Papa, deliver us from waiting till the attacks hit us before we go into prayer. In the name of Jesus, I want you to plead with God tonight. Say, Papa, give me alertness. Give me discernment. Did you hear what I said? Say, my Father, give me alertness. Give me discernment. Give me alertness. Give me discernment to know the season of warfare. Oh, 
Lord, make me a lot, make me a lot, make me designing, make me a lot, make me designing to know the season of warfare and grace to pray it off. Did you hear what I said? You don't have to dream a dream or to know there is warfare. When you walk with God and you're a prayerful person, you will know. You just say to yourself, oh, something is going on, something is going on. I cannot tell you how many times that have happened to me. I will tell people around me, there's something going on. There's something about to break. Then you go after it before it breaks. You go after it before it is shot. I want you to pray for alertness. I want you to pray for discernment. Oh Lord, help me to know the seasons. Help me to know the times and the seasons around my life. Help me to know the times and the seasons around my children. In the name of Jesus, if you have children, you know what I mean. I know your children were born in church, but they don't pray like you pray. They don't even see anything in you. Why, why are my parents praying like this? Are they the ones that killed Jesus? And yet they came from you. They came from warfare. A generation of warfare is in their blood. I want you to pray that the Lord will give you alertness for yourself, alertness for your children, discernment for yourself, discernment for your children, discernment for your business, discernment for your finances, to know, to know what is going on in the realm of the spirit, to know the season of warfare and grace to pray it off. My friends, is one thing to know, it's another thing to have the grace to pray. Say, my father, give me alertness and discernment to know the season of warfare and the grace to pay, pray warfare off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, 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 pray. Lord, reveal to me. Say, Lord, reveal to me. Come on, say, Lord, reveal to me. Reveal to me what? The plans of the enemies that sink ships. There are some enemies oh, that just love to sink your sheep, your financial sheep, your health sheep. Say, oh Lord, revelation, 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 revelation. Papa, be merciful to me and give me revelation. Give me dreams, give me visions, oh God, that will reveal the plans of the enemies that sink ships. You know how the uh, American knew that Japan was coming during the Second World War when they did not know they were coming to Pearl Harbor. America lost, but at that battle that I told you, America sank all their ship because they got the information that they were coming. May God give you advanced information. May God sneak it to you. May God speak it to you. Say, oh Lord, speak to me, speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I had a member of my church in Alabama. I can almost mention her name. Her husband was planning something with somebody and God gave her the phone number of that person. She called the person and said, you are planning this with my husband. And the person said, who gave you my number? And it happened to be the real person. That is discernment. That is revelation. Say, oh Lord, alertness, discernment, alertness, discernment, revelation, alertness, discernment, revelation, to know what is going on, reveal their plans. Reveal the plans of the enemies that sink ships. Reveal the plans of the enemies that sink health, they build the plans of the enemy, oh God, that sink goodness, that seek progress, that sink success, reveal their plans, reveal their strategies, just like the American warfare knew what Japan was planning, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa speak to my hearing, Papa speak to my mind, Papa speak to my soul, what the enemy is saying, oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. But there's one more prayer you need to pray. You know what a prayer is? It's one thing for God to show you what the enemy is planning. It's another thing for you to take adequate steps. I want you to pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, pray. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from taking warnings about an impending attacks. Deliver me from taking warnings about impending attacks lightly. We take them too lightly. We pray for three minutes will fall asleep and the enemy is loading the weapons to unload on, on you. I want you to pray, oh Lord, let me not take them lightly. The warnings that you give me, the dreams that you give me, the speech that you give me in my soul, in my spirit. Papa, let me not take them lightly. Oh, 
where you tell me to fast. Don't let me say I will feel dizzy. Oh Lord, deliver me from taking warnings about impending attacks. Deliver me from taking them lightly. In the name of Jesus, your husband is bringing a strange family member into your house. And you know this family member is a good good. It's time for you to launch prayers that they will miss their flight, that they will not be able to come into your house. I want you to pray tonight, oh Lord, deliver me from taking warnings about impending attacks lightly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, 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 pray tonight. You know what I told you? Prevention is better than cure. Don't ever forget that. Prevention is better than cure. I want you to pray, Lord, give me grace to prevent wars rather than fight wars. In the name of Jesus, give me the grace that prevent wars rather than fight wars in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. It's not easy to fight wars. Oh. It's not easy. Oh. Many people don't remain the same after fighting wars. Go and ask David. Go and ask how he was when he was 69 years old. Say, oh Lord, give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. I want prevention that is better than cure. Give me grace to prevent wars. Give me grace that prevent wars. Give me anointing and favor that prevent wars rather than fight it was in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, grace to prevent wars. What you did for, for, for Jacob concerning Laban. Papa, do it for me, do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. Say, oh Lord, take my name. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Please pray, please pray, please pray that the Lord will take your name from the register of those who don't pray until attack comes. Oh Lord, take my name from their register. Erase my name, O oh Lord, from the register of those who don't pray until attack comes. Then they'll be running from prophet to prophet, running from church to church, running from mountain to valleys when they could have handled it before it landed on them. Don't pray until it lands. Don't pray. Don't wait to pray until it lands. Pray before it is shot. O oh Lord God, take my name out. Papa, take my husband's name out. Take my wife's name out. Take my children's name out of the register of those who don't pray until the attack hits. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself tonight that you will not wait. Say, oh Lord, let me not wait until the arrow leaves the bow. Don't let me wait until the arrow leaves the bow. Don't let me wait until the gun is shot. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you know, I say you should not wait until the gun is shot because the one who is killed does not hear the gun. Oh, he's gone, he does not hear the gun. I want you to pray tonight, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let me not wait till the arrow leaves the bow and the gun is cocked and shot. Let me not be among those who wait and take things lightly. Deliver me from taking war lightly, deliver me from taking warnings lightly in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Let's go back to the attack weapons tonight. Let's pray a little bit about the attack weapons tonight. Say, oh Lord, disable them. Say, oh Lord, disable them. Say, oh Lord, disable them. Say, oh Lord, set them on fire. Say, oh Lord, disable them. Say, oh Lord, set them on fire. Say, oh Lord, disable them. Father, set them on fire. Father, disable them. Weapons at the point where they are launched. Weapons, demonic weapons, satanic weapons, weapons of the tongue where they are launched. Papa, disable, destroy. Papa, disable, destroy. Papa, disable, destroy. They are weapons at the point of launching, at the point of shooting. At the point of shooting, at the point of launching, Papa disabled destroy, Papa disabled destroy in the name of Jesus. All attack weapons that are used against me, that I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I cannot pass an exam. Something is there because you train other people to pass and yet you fail. Ah, Papa, something has to happen tonight. Something must happen tonight. There must be a disability. Give them the anointing of disability. Every weapon that is formed against. 
against me, O God. They shall not prosper from the point of being launched. Let them not prosper from the beginning of being launched. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whenever, wherever, whenever, wherever they are launched. Papa, disable them. Papa, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All attack weapons. All attack powers. All attack demons. All attack spirits. Disable, destroy them from the point where they are launched against me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray. We've got 20 more minutes, people. 20 more minutes. Disable attack weapons at the point where they are launched. Destroy attack weapons at the point where they are launched. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make a decree tonight. Are you ready? You shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Say, oh Lord, I decree. Say, O Lord, I decree. Say, O Lord, I decree against the arrow of the adversary, against the arrows of the adversaries, against the weapons of warfare of the adversaries. I decree against them breaking pieces. Come on, decree breaking pieces. Come on, decree that they break in pieces. I decree that you break in pieces before you are launched out of your bow. Every arrow of the adversary, every arrow of the adversary breaking pieces on my job, breaking pieces in my family, breaking breaking pieces before you are launched out of the bow. In the name of Jesus, surprise them, O God. Surprise them, O God, that their weapon will not work against me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, break them in pieces, break them in pieces, break them in pieces. All arrows of the adversary, all weapons of the adversary, all that they have used to work against me. Papa, destroy them, break them, destroy them, break them, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, break them in pieces before they are launched out of their bow. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for your prayer life again. Oh, pray for your prayer life. Oh, I'm begging you. Say, oh Lord, let my prayer life and your mercy be combined to give me undisturbed peace and tranquility. Oh Lord, give me undisturbed peace and tranquility. The one that war does not come to has undisturbed peace. That was Jacob. Oh, Jacob's peace was not disturbed because Laban was not allowed to fire. I want you to pray, oh Lord, your mercy. What Jacob had was mercy. But remember, Jacob had prayed through months and years ago. And he said, God, if you will bring me back. And now God was bringing him back. Nothing can stop him. That's a covenant. I say, oh Lord, remember the covenant I made with you five years ago. Remember the covenant I made with you ten years ago. Go. Remind God of the covenant you made with him and remind God of the covenant he made with you. He made the covenant with you that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Say, oh Lord, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy be combined with prayer to give me undisturbed peace, undisturbed tranquility where I look for the enemy. It's not that the enemy is not there, but their weapons cannot take off. Oh God, grace that will not allow the weapons of the enemy to take off against me, against my husband, against me, against my children, against me, against my wife. Oh, Lord, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Say, oh, Lord, let them assemble their weapon in vain. Hallelujah. Oh, they will assemble, but it's not by God. Say, oh, Lord, every weapon that they assemble concerning me, let it be in vain, let it not work. Let it be in vain, let it not work. Let's pray what we prayed about yesterday. Say, oh, Lord, ah, give them equipment for Give them equipment failure in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Cut their equipment in pieces. Papa, cut their equipment in pieces in the name of Jesus. Cut their equipment in pieces and destroy them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know what the master said? The master said, pray, deliver us from evil. If there's nothing called evil, oh, the Lord will not say deliver us from evil, oh, but I want us to pray about evil before they take off, before they are triggered. Say, oh Lord, before they are triggered. Say, oh Lord, before they are launched. Say, oh Lord, before they take off. Papa, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from evil. Pray, 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 pray tonight. Deliver me from evil. Ah, I wish somebody else was leading this prayer and I was just praying like you are praying in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, before evil takes off against me, before evil is triggered against me, before evil is launched
launched against me. Uh, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Let there be abundance reservoir of deliverance for hey, yeah, 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 yeah. abundance reservoir of deliverance. Uh, let it be for me, oh Lord, in the realm of the spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus, for every weapon there is a deliverance, uh, so that they will not be able to fire. Let them misfire. Let them misfire. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Uh, let them misfire by fire. Let them misfire by fire before they are launched. Oh God, before they take off. Oh Lord, before they are triggered. Let them fail. Let them fail. Let them fail. Deliver me from every evil in the name of Jesus. Not after they hit me, oh. Not after they trouble me, oh. But before they take off. Before they are triggered. Before they are launched. Papa disable them. Papa scatter them in pieces. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from being a victim of surprise attacks. Deliver me from being a victim of surprise attacks. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. That's one of the qualities of good warfare. Surprise attacks. That's what they wanted to give America. They did it at Pearl Harbor. It worked. But when they wanted to do it again, no, they failed. Say, Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from surprise attacks. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, arise for me this day. Deliver me from surprise attacks. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Surprise attacks against my health. You go to the doctor, the doctor says, ah, ah, where is this one coming from? But you were here last week. You were here for checkup last month. Where did this one come from? Hey, that one is surprise attacks. Say, oh Lord, surprise attacks against my health. Surprise attacks against my lungs. Surprise attacks against my eyes. Surprise attacks against my kidneys. Surprise attack against my pancreas. Surprise attacks against my bone. Surprise attacks that uses that uses diabetes. Surprise attacks that uses cancer. Let it not be my portion. Let it not be my portion. Let it not be my portion. Let me not be a victim. Let it not be my portion. Let me not be a victim uh, against attacks concerning my health, uh, concerning my finances, concerning my spiritual life, concerning my ministry, concerning my business, uh, concerning my children. Children don't pray. Oh. Children cannot pray. Oh. They will dream bad dreams. Uh, they cannot even tell you the dream, bad dreams they have uh, because God will still want them to in their dreams, but they have no clue. Maybe they cry out in their sleep anyway, but I want you to pray for them tonight. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, even my children uh, that you have blessed me with, my grandchildren that you have blessed me with, my sons and my daughters that you have blessed me with, deliver them from being victims of surprise attacks in the name of Jesus. Can we pray tonight? Say, oh Lord, let the attackers be the ones that are surprised. Let the attackers be the ones that are surprised. Give them surprise attack, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let my attackers rather be the ones who receive surprise attacks before they fight, while they stand by their voodoo, while they stand in their witchcraft coven and their conjuring spirits, the spirit will show up and give them a dirty slap. And the spirit will say, you are sending me to that saint? You are sending me to that prayerful person? No, 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 no. I want you to say, let the spirit say no to them. Let the spirit say no to them. Say, oh Lord, let the spirit descend on errand. Let the spirit reject to go on the errand. Let the spirit reject to answer them in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to pray tonight that any sickness specifically let's pray against sicknesses tonight say any sickness planning to launch into my body and destroy my health in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, any sickness, any disease that is planning to launch into my body and destroy my health, say, oh Lord, expose them, destroy them before they attack my health in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, any sickness, any disease, any affliction concerning this body of mine to destroy my health, oh Lord, expose them, destroy them before they attack my health, before they attack the health of my wife, before they attack the health of my husband, before they attack the health of my son, before they attack the health of my daughter, we will catch it not too late. Did you hear what I said? We will catch it not too late. In the name of Jesus, let it not be said of me, oh Lord, oh sorry, we caught this thing too late. It has spread before we saw it. It shall not be your portion. It shall not be my portion. 
it shall not be my portion, it shall not be your portion. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, before the attack of sickness launches against me, Papa, launch healing, launch deliverance against them all in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray tonight. You know what God did to Laban? Restraining order. Don't you love that? <laughs> God put a restraining order against Laban and said, boy, don't touch that Jacob. I want you to pray, oh Lord, a restraining order. Every family member. Laban was a family member, extended family member. These family members, I, I don't understand though. I want you to pray. Say, Lord, say, Lord, oh God, put a restraining order on every family member like Liban. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He is the brother of my mother. Oh, I want you to pray. Say every brother of my mother, every sister of my father, every brother of my sister, whoever they are, whichever way you want to call it, before I start speaking bad English, I want you to pray tonight. Every auntie, every uncle, every niece, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, restrain them tonight. And mention their name if you know somebody who, every ex-husband, every ex-wife, put a restraining order on them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, like you restrain Laban, Papa, wake them up in the middle of the night and tell them don't attack him, and tell them don't attack her, and tell them don't attack them, in the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, Terrify them. Terrify them in their sleep. In the name of Jesus, warn them on my behalf when they are awake. Warn them on my behalf when they are asleep. I think Laban was asleep. God didn't let him sleep. God warned them, don't, don't mess with that boy. Don't mess with that boy. Don't mess with him. Don't, don't, don't take those arrows against him. In the name of Jesus, warn them, warn them, warn them, warn them. Papa, warn them, warn them, warn them. Do you know that if Laban did not heed the warning, God will have destroyed him. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, let them not, oh God, refuse your warning or else they will be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, warn them on my behalf. Put restraining order on them on my behalf that they will not launch wickedness against my wife. They will not launch wickedness against my son, innocent son, innocent daughter. I'm the one that they said offended them, right? They said I offended them. Then what concerns my husband? What concerns my wife? What concerns my innocent children? Papa, restrain in order. Restrain in order. You have the authority to issue them. Issue them, oh Lord, in their dreams. Issue them in real life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, warn them tonight. As you talk to Laban. Are you praying where you are tonight? I hope you are praying, oh. Say, oh Lord. As you talk to Laban. And you talked him out. Out of the idea of attacking Jacob and his family. Do the same for me, Lord. 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 You talk to Liban in a language you will understand. And you said, leave him alone. Leave his family alone. Oh, God. Do the same thing for me, oh, God. You are not a respecter of persons. The mercy that Jacob received. Let me receive it tonight. Do the same thing for me. You know what amazes me here? Jacob, oh, Jacob. Jacob had no idea what was was coming. Did you hear me? Jacob had no idea what was coming. Say, oh Lord, whatever is coming that I have no idea of. Say, oh Lord, whatever is coming oh, that I have no idea of. Intervene, intervene, so my ignorance will not lead to my destruction. Jacob could have been easily destroyed because he was innocent. I mean, he was ignorant that somebody was coming behind him. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, whoever is coming behind me in my family, whoever is the family member that is coming behind me, whoever on my job is coming behind me to harm me, to do me evil in my church, to do me evil in my apartment to do me evil uh, in my extended family. Oh Lord God, cover me, cover me, intervene for me. Oh Lord, cover me, cover me. I'm so ignorant. Uh, who is blind but my servants? Uh, Papa, I'm blind. Oh, I don't see you, but you will not lead me to destruction. Uh, don't give me to their hands. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, uh, you know what Laban said? Laban said, <laughs> Laban said, it is in my power. 
to do you harm? Is this in my power to hurt you? Say, oh Lord, take power away from them because power belongs to God. Oh Lord, power belongs to you. It does not belong to the labors in my life. Take power away from those who have power to hurt me. Take power away from those who have power to hurt me, who have power to injure my wife, my husband, my children, my possessions. They can wipe everything out overnight. Say, oh Lord, as Jacob received mercy, take power away from the hands of those who have power to hurt me and hurt what I have in the name of Jesus. I'm about to close because we have to pray about these prayers. But let me ask you something. How many people were against Jacob? Do you know how many they were? Laban was behind him. Esau was in front of him. He did not know how of the two. Esau was coming in the front. Laban was coming in the back. And yet, God did not let him hurt him. I want you to pray tonight. Do the same for me tonight. Whoever is coming from my back, whoever is coming from my front, whoever is coming from my left, whoever is coming from my right, whoever is coming from the center, stop adversaries. Stop adversaries from launching attacks against me. You know what God did? Before Laban got to him, God had said to Laban. Before Esau got to him, God had said to Esau, say, oh Lord God, silence them before they get to me. Silence them before they get to me. Adversaries in the back like Laban. Adversaries in the front like Esau. Adversaries in the left. Adversaries in the right. Adversaries in the center inside my own body. Oh Lord, stop the adversaries from launching attacks against me. Papa, stop the adversaries from launching attacks against me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All attacks against me, oh God. Papa, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them tonight. Papa, stop them, stop them. Them, stop them, stop them tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all adversaries, oh God, that will want to fight against me, Papa, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them in the name of Jesus from being able to launch attacks against me, oh God. I want you to pray tonight as we close that attack launches against my life will always be mission impossible. Pray, 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 say all attack launches against my life, all attack attack launches against my ministry. Let them always be. They shall always be. They must always be. They will always be. Attacks impossible. Oh Lord, I decree tonight, all attack, all attacks launched against my life. Let them always be mission impossible. Let them always be mission impossible. Let them always be mission impossible. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Begin to say, Lord, I praise you. Begin to say, Lord, I worship you. Begin to say, Lord, I adore you. Father, I thank you for answering my prayers in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Take out your envelopes. Let's get some victory tonight. I want you to say, oh Lord, the Christ inside this envelope, turn them into laughter. Turn them into laughter. There are many tears inside this envelope, so, but you can pray tonight and say, Lord, every tear inside this envelope, every sadness inside this envelope, Papa, turn them into laughter. Papa, turn them into laughter. In the name of Jesus, every tear, every cry, in the name of Jesus, that this one represents. Papa, in the name of Jesus, Papa, in the name of Jesus, turn the Christ in this envelope into laughter. Turn the Christ in this envelope into laughter in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. Pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, the prayer requests inside this envelope, turn them into praise reports. The prayer requests, turn them into praise reports. The prayer requests, turn them into praise reports. The prayer requests, turn them into praise reports. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Mercy, 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 mercy. When it appears uh, as if there is no way for these answers, uh, Papa, make a way, make a way for answers. Uh, Papa, make a way, make a way for answers. Uh, you are the main way maker, oh God. Make a way for the answers, oh Lord. Make a way for these prayers to be answered. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, where it appears there is no hope, oh Lord, make a way. In the name of Jesus, uh, begin to bless the name of the Lord, begin to 
thank him, begin to say, Lord, I worship you. The same mercy. Some of you have prayers that are already answered. The same mercy that answered those prayers. May they answer the remaining prayers. Some of you have already had four. Some of you have already had three. Some of you have already had five. Say, oh Lord, the same mercy that answered one, let it answer all seven. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, Papa will bless you, will worship you for the answer tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we adore you for tonight. But for the prayers we prayed earlier and the prayers for this prayer request, we thank you for answering us and giving us the desires of our hearts. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name we have prayed. Everybody said amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. On this Friday night, you know what my advice to you will be? Go over the prayers again. These are prayers you need to pray to prevent. Prevention is better than cure. Hallelujah. A few announcements. Father's Day service will be between 10 and 11 on Sunday. We'll try to finish early, except there will be some presentations that might prolong the service. Uh, Presentation by the children, I know that for a fact. I don't know uh, any other thing. But Father's Day service will be between 10 and 11. Hopefully, the presentation and of the children will not be too long. But uh, 10 and 11 is what we have down here. So please get ready Sunday. Join us. And let's honor the men that are in our lives. Online service will be at 10.30 as usual. And Sunday school will be at 3 p.m. as usual on Sunday. Bible study will be at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, you don't want to miss it. And tomorrow, we've announced this many times. Symposium on Preventing Spousal Abuse will be tomorrow between 12 and 4. You don't want to miss that also. Next Thursday and next Friday, God willing, our prayers will be on the theme, Increased Greatness. Increased Greatness. No matter what your level in life is, your greatness can be increased. David was great as a shepherd. At least he killed a lion and he killed a bear. But God increased his greatness. He became the shepherd of a whole nation. Please join us next Thursday. Join us next Friday for an increase in your greatness. You have a level of greatness. And you can be greater than how great you are now. Those are the announcements. We thank you so much for joining us tonight. You can still send the links out after we go off the air. So that people may listen and pray just like you did. Shall we share the grace as we go off the air today? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And amen. Thank you for joining us. I pray that the Lord will keep you and watch over you all through the weekend until we meet again next Thursday. Until then, God bless you. Bye-bye.